I missed you. Welcome back. Today we're talking about the PewDiePie scandal. Warner Brothers uh, has spoken out against the FCC. FCC says that you know Warner Brothers is wrong for having YouTubers give out positive reviews of Shadow of Mordor. Uh, spoiler. Shadow of Mordor is fucking awesome. Positive reviews for Shadow of Mordor. You can't give those out. But in uh, FCC's offense, like to do, just to get their side of the story, Warner Brothers did tell YouTubers that they needed to say positive things about their games. Now, PewDiePie is under fire because it's because he's just PewDiePie. He's clickbait. I did it. Everybody does it. He's, you know, he's, he's PewDiePie. His name is going to bring at least 100 or 200 some people. That's, just, that's just the minimum of your outreach and your growth. But the irony is, actually, in PewDiePie's video, he, he actually does put it in the description. As shown here. Basically, Warner Brothers was just trolling the FCC by letting them go through this and it just gives them more and more of uh, attention to Shadow of Mordor. So maybe they're cooking up a Shadow of Mordor sequel, I don't know. And it's also at the same point in time from what uh, YouTube terms and conditions with the FCC were totally different in 2014 than they were in 2015 when Shadow of Mordor came out with PewDiePie playing the game and said positive things about it because the game is freaking awesome. So technically, it's, it's a gray area. Uh, PewDiePie released a video, I would suggest you go see it. 